Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. This is our Hardware Makeover of the Month episode, number six. And for those of you that aren't aware of what this is, this is the episode where you guys send me videos and pictures of your setup, and I choose one to remake in my own way using Gibraltar hardware. Now, let's get that envelope to see who's gonna be the lucky drummer of the month. Where'd it go? <sighs> okay, you guys are starting to have a little too much fun with this. I'll bite. Give me that. Marley Graham. So Marley has a really cool setup. He plays a seven piece kit with eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 toms, 22 inch kick drum, 14 inch snare. Now, his cymbals, he's got eight cymbals, and they're all mounted to a pearl rack. On the left-hand side, he's got his hi-hats, he's got his left main crash, a splash right between the 10 and 12 inch toms. On his right side, he's got a ride cymbal, his right main crash, a secondary crash, and then a china and splash stacker in the back. So he pretty much has everything mounted to the three-sided rack, with the exception to two things, his snare and his eight inch tom. His snare has its own snare stand, and the 8-inch tom is mounted to a stand base right next to the far left leg. So Marley has a very unique setup, which is why I chose it. He's got himself facing the audience completely full frontal towards the audience, as opposed to facing to the corner of the stage over there. And it makes sense because this is a natural way to play. He's got his 10 and 12 inch right in front of him so he can access them very easily from the snare, and his bass drum is facing 1 to 2 o'clock, which is a natural place for your foot to rest when it's relaxed. Now, what's really cool about this setup is how he has his eight attached. It's not a standard eight, 10, 12 stock setup. He's got his eight offset to the left of the snare at the same height, which is very cool. I chose to do something a little different. I'm still incorporating the rack into this setup, but I'm not using a full three-sided rack. What I'm doing is I take his eight, 10, 12 toms and his 14 inch snare, his splash, and his left main crash, and I'm mounting it all to one side rack. This way, I have everything mounted onto one thing, and there are only two feet on the floor. So let's start on the far left-hand side of the setup. I've got my eight inch tom mounted to the front left leg of the rack using an adjustable angle multi-clamp. Now this is the SCGC MAMC. It's not fixed at 90 degrees, so you can change the angle the tom arm comes off of the bar, which is very cool. It allows me to shoot my tom into this place that no other clamp would allow me to do. Now I've got my left main crash mounted directly out of the front left leg. My 10 and 12 inch rack toms are mounted off the front crossbar, and I've got the splash mounted off of the same L-rod that is holding the 12 inch tom. The snare drum is using a no-leg snare stand, which is the 9606 NL. Now it's mounted off of a multi-clamp to the front right leg of the rack. Now the little side rack is something that I just custom built. It's out of parts, I didn't have to do any cutting. I used a 36 inch curve bar for the crossbar and two 20 inch straight bars for the legs. Now let's move over to the right hand side. I've got three cymbals mounted to one stand. My ride cymbal has its own stand and it serves as the base of our setup over here. Now I've got a 24 inch curve bar mounted to the, to the ride cymbal stand. This bar is holding our right main crash and our right auxiliary crash. Three in one. How can you beat that? My china and splash stacker is mounted to its own cymbal stand. So the product highlights for this episode is the adjustable angle multi-clamp, the SCGC MAMC. We have the 9606 NL, which is the no leg snare stand. We have the SCCLRA, which is the splash L rod mount. And the rack, which is made up of five components, a 36 inch curve bar, the SCGPR 36C, two 20 inch straight bars, the SCGPR 20, and then two T leg assemblies, SCGCS QC LTLA. Well, that's it for this month's episode of Hardware Makeover. Marley, thank you very much for submitting your drum kit. You gave me an idea, I love it. I love ideas. For those of you that are interested in submitting, please send all videos and pictures to brentshang.gibraltar at gmail.com. And for those of you that have already submitted, hang tight because you might be next time. 
See ya.